my name is Zatara and today I'm going to be reviewing a new monitor I just got. Um, I just got the Samsung Odyssey G9, but today actually I got the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. I'm gonna go grab So this is the box for the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. It is huge. Samsung Odyssey, or sorry, there's no Samsung, Odyssey Neo G9, 123.8 centimeters. And I'm going to unbox this and then talk back. Okay, I'm going to put this big box up here on the table and unbox. Next in the box, we have the stand that supports, supports it. Here's the other part to the stand. So the first thing with installing this monitor is you need to put the stand together very first before you even attempt to take the monitor out of the box. So I'm going to unwrap these and get it all together. So next you will combine the two pieces like this. They easily fit together and have this easy lock. It just screws and you can hand tighten it and then the screwdriver to tighten it further. Once you have your stand all set up, um, you can take off the tape carefully. There's screws in here and you will attach this mount to the back of your Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. So I finally set up the Samsung Neo G9 and I have the Samsung G9 behind me. This is the Samsung Neo G9. So what are the biggest differences between these two monitors? Well, with the new Samsung Neo G9, Samsung had um, implemented what is called the mini LED. Supposedly, this is the very first mini LED monitor to ever be created. Um, what that means basically is there is well, exactly kind of how it sounds, mini LEDs. So there are 2048 dimming spots. You're gonna get darker, um, you're gonna get darker black, um, deeper contrast, as well as very, very vivid brights um, and white, sorry. The colors, the brightness is gonna be a lot brighter. Um, right now I actually have my Samsung G9 behind me on iSaver mode. And this one I have in one of my favorite settings when I'm playing games, which is called the dynamic mode. I really love putting on the contrast or the high contrast dynamic mode because it like makes your colors just pop out and look gorgeous, especially when you're playing video games. Um, what else was I gonna say about this? So behind me, the Samsung um, G9 model 
when it did release last year, it did have some issues with flickering on the screen. So a lot of people were complaining and returning the monitor and Samsung had to address that really quickly. I believe most of the monitors you will buy now will all be good as long as it's, um, I believe after step or after, what is it, December, all the models shouldn't have any flickering problems whatsoever. Uh, but that is something to look out for. If you are planning on buying a Samsung G9, you might want to think about, um, like, especially if it's used, maybe it could have that flickering problem where you're getting like this weird screen tear that people are complaining about. I actually haven't seen it. I haven't seen it on this one, so I don't entirely know what it looks like, but I heard it's a really big problem. Um, they completely solved it with this one. I actually was delayed getting my Samsung Neo G9, and the reason for that is because they said they had to inspect it further to make sure there was absolutely no issues before releasing it to the public. So it took about a week longer to get my Samsung Neo G9 than I had planned, but that's fine. I would rather them um, fully inspect it and make sure it's good and, and instead of like sending me a product that could be broken potentially. Um, what else? The HDR is supposedly extremely better on this one. I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to get a monitor calibrator soon. So I'm really excited to use this monitor, calibrate it, and be able to edit photos and um, videos on Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop and make sure my colors are just true to the tone as they possibly can be. But this is my review of the Samsung Neo G9. Um, I didn't get to sit down and actually use it and play it. Um, I, it's not too much different from the Samsung G9, which I'm already using right here. Um, so I know I'm already going to love it. Uh, the colors are just brighter and beautiful, and I'm super excited to set this up. I think maybe in the next couple of days, I'm actually going to stack the monitor. So I'll have the G9 maybe at the bottom and then the Neo G9 up at the top and have both monitors stacked up and down uh, just so we can try it out and show kind of literally a side by side with them up and down and you can see the difference right then and there. Oh, another change that they implemented into the Samsung Neo G9 that the Samsung G9 did not have, which I personally love, is underneath there are three buttons down here um, and these are gamer modes that you can switch to. So, um, or different, uh, different screen modes. So you can press one of them and I don't have them set up right now, but you can press one and you can have it completely change your gaming settings or your, um, your screen settings. So for example, you can press one of the buttons and then have it switch to like be a high dynamic, um, with 240 Hertz. And then you can press the third button under there and have it be at like 60 frames. I don't know why you would want that but you can switch the frame rate and then have it be like eye saver mode or something like that. Maybe it helps with saving power and stuff like that, especially being able to change it on the fly without having to go into the settings every single time. I really love that. Um, it's super small, but for me, that's huge because um, when I'm doing stuff like uh, video editing, I like to have an eye saver mode because I do tend to get really bad headaches when I'm looking at a bright screen for a really long time. But when I'm playing games, I want it to be as vivid and beautiful and fast as possible. So for me, that is actually the coolest feature they could have added is to just be able to switch um, different profiles like instantaneously so that I can be like, okay, I'm going to play a game now. It's going to be beautiful and bright and vivid and then press the button and then it's going to be in eye saver mode. I can hardly see it, but at least I'm like working and reading and being able to read kind of white screens without um, getting headaches at the end of the day. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope this was helpful to you. Please ask any questions you can uh, because then I can test them side by side since I have both of the monitors. I would love to do any type of testing I can. And yeah, have a, have a beautiful day. Goodbye everyone!